Good morning. Monday morning, and it's the start of my second last week before the Sydney Marathon. The taper is starting this week, so the uh, the volume will come down. We'll keep all the intensity on the same days, but yeah, it'll be slightly lower case. So probably end up being something similar to last week, the 70 k's I did last week. Ideally, last week would have been higher, but that's in the past. We move forward and we work smart into this marathon. It's a bit warm today. Noticing at the moment, as soon as that sun's out, it's getting hot. So uh, these runs to and from work, got to really hydrate properly. Anyway, 30 minutes on the way to work. I'll see you at Sabo. Good afternoon, Monday Arvo, and it is windy. Oh, 5.9 on the way home, 30 minutes. I don't even know what that is, 5.20 something. Anyway, good run home, good start to the week. Still feeling nothing in my groin. So, I think that's a positive. I'm gonna chalk that up as a positive and a real well done to me for pulling out of Saturday's workout. We're, uh, we're ticking boxes, we're kicking goals. There's less than two weeks to go now. Now I just gotta look after myself, rehab well, and uh, get ready to go. Tomorrow, I'm not running to and from work, I'm working off site again, but I'm close to home. So what I'm gonna do is duck home and I'm gonna do a test of the race kit. So I'm gonna go full race kit test just to see how it all feels. Shoes, singlet, shorts, all of that. Looking forward to that one tomorrow. I just wanna get out and get the excitement levels up. Let's see how it goes. Sometimes I get so mad there's no control in me My thoughts get so bad I'm like I might grab a bat I don't know my wrath My blood boils over like Oh God here it goes I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go So just stay tuned for the rest of the show So have you ever felt betrayed? Good afternoon Tuesday Arvo And we're back on track routine wise I've just done a workout calling this workout race kit test workout the aim was to uh, come out put everything that I want to wear in the race on and just see how it goes so the kit from top to bottom is the one running shocks singlet beautiful singlet by the way um, shocks have given it to me but this thing is magic definitely recommend one running singlets they are awesome company out of South Australia absolutely killing it uh, the two times you light speed shorts they're my go-to for races uh, no chafe no issues and they're just really light and comfy and socks are the two times you socks that I always wear and then the shoes this is the first run in them the Asics Metaspeed Sky or oh, and there's something else these things are so much fun to run in having never run in a like a proper pair of super shoes the Pumas were sort of half super these things are amazing you just bound along so bouncy so light so airy just everything you want in a race shoe oh a light ball. It's hard to control the pace in these, so that's going to be the challenge. Like the first 20k next weekend, just to hold myself back at 4:30s. Anyway, workout done. Details are on screen. But uh, I felt really good. And nice to get out and test all the kit, and know that it's going to feel good. Anyway, Tuesday done. On a Wednesday. Good afternoon, Wednesday are they? And a nice 30 minute easy jog complete. It's an interesting two weeks now, tapering. I've got to try and judge this. Just judge the overall volume, keep the intensity there where needed. It's a real delicate balancing act. So um, 
just sort of looking at where I'm at right now. I'm at about 27 k's for this week. By the time I do a Friday workout and a long run on Sunday, it'll be... That in itself will be about 23. So that'll get me sort of close to 50. So I will possibly, possibly just do half an hour short tomorrow and then half an hour again on Saturday. So yeah, it's gonna be an interesting balancing act. So yeah, probably about 60-ish Ks this week. And then, um, yeah. And then, I don't know, barely that, barely anything next week. We're 10 days out. It's a bit scary. All right, so Friday morning, last uh, marathon session before the marathon. It's less of a session because we are tapering. So it's 12 Ks of 1 K at 4.15s, 1 K at 4.45s. Oh, I have zero motivation for this one. I'm really struggling in that aspect. I'm just, yeah. Just woken up, everything's sore, everything's a little bit tired, you know, I haven't slept well, so yeah, just really struggling. That's all right, we'll get through it, we'll get it done. Um, looking back at my training logs for last year, I actually rolled my ankle in this workout and I think I had the same attitude towards this workout. I just wasn't that invested in it. So I just gotta make sure I switch that mindset now before the work uh, warm up finishes. That I gotta hit this properly with intent. Because yeah, last year, I didn't do that and I rolled my ankle and it caused all sorts of issues. So yeah, let's just make sure it's a good workout and you know, we get it done. All right, I'll talk to you at the end. Well, run's done. That's Friday morning done. Uh, last marathon style workout. For the block, just 18 k's, 4.43 is average. Just a, a really, really nice run. Nice to be hitting paces, hitting them fairly comfortably, and then just jogging home and, and not feeling like I've absolutely wrecked myself. So, a bit of confidence from that one. So I'm happy about that. Had a long run on Sunday and then, yeah, it gets even easier from here, until the race, of course. Then there's the race. Anyway, Friday done. Good morning. Sunday morning and we're out for the last long run. Well, longish run. When it's a taper, when it's only an hour and 15 minutes, it doesn't really, doesn't really intimidate like the general long run does. Anyway, that's the plan for today. I'm over halfway through. I've done eight Ks. Just about seven Ks to come back home. And then, Lots of recovery on the table. My groin's still playing a little bit of havoc, which is a bit frustrating. But I do know that as I recover, as I as I get into a jog, it feels good. So it's one of those things that it's there and it'll be there next Sunday, but it's okay because I know I can, I know I've got strategies to get through it and that it's not gonna, it's not gonna stop me doing what I wanna do. I just gotta recover well this week and not put it under any more strain than I need to. So, tape a week. There'll be a little bit less running than I would have expected because I do really wanna Look after this left leg. Make sure I hit Sunday feeling good. Anyway, they're my thoughts. Halfway through a long run. I'll see you at the end. Okay, long run done. 15 k's at five minute pace. Yeah, it's, it's incredible when that feels like nothing. Like, I, I still find that just that feeling of finishing that and going, oh yeah, that was easy. I can go and do that again. Um, I still find that quite incredible. So that's what I love about marathon training. Um, but yeah, that's done. There's yeah, definitely a bit of groin awareness. So a bit of work to do this week. I've got an appointment with the physio on Tuesday. So hopefully we can work some of that out. 
and then um, coast into into Sunday and feel good Sunday morning. Legs definitely feeling flat and tired, but that's okay. They're okay. They don't have to feel good today. They have to feel good in a week's time. So yeah, let's uh, let's rest up today. Let's recover well. And on with a big week ahead. Starting to get nerve wracking now. Gotta do all the preparation, like, you know, get clothes ready, flights, all that sort of stuff. Just get ready to do all that. All right, I'll leave it there. I'll talk to you about the week as a whole once I've had a chance to sit back and review it all. See you soon. So Max and John are just editing that video and taking a moment to think about that week. And the biggest challenge, honestly, was not running too many Ks because when I look at my Strava graph and I look particularly at the build that I've had for this marathon since the half, I built up reasonably well. Then I had that week where I was sick and then I continued at a reasonably decent mileage. Then things have started to track down since. So the challenge was not to run, you know, 70, 80 Ks like I have been running but to actually decrease that a little bit to bring that freshness into the legs. So the challenge for me was to run 60 Ks or under. So to do that, I just took the intensity right out. I really reduced that uh, Friday workout. You're a delight, Max. And then also reduced the long run significantly so that I wasn't feeling bagged up. So 60 Ks for the week. This is gonna be really funny for me to say, but it is so easy to run 60 Ks in a week. And I can't believe I'm saying that. But yeah, 60 Ks in a week feels like nothing now, which is good. It shows an incredible improvement on my part. That's the first week of the taper done. Feeling pretty good. There's still that groin niggle hanging around and I think that just is what it is. Um, yeah, I don't think that's gonna go away anytime soon and I've just got to accept it and know that I'm gonna be running the marathon with that there and you know, we'll just see what happens. One week to go. <laughs> it's like days away now. Like, we're not talking weeks. We're not talking this thing in the future. It's right there. And now I've got to try and put it together. Wish me luck. One week to go. I'll see you in the next video.